pickleball, anyone? Luke Burbank serves up a story about our fastest growing sport. It all started more or less out of necessity. The inaugural game was this very ball. Oh, wow. This is the Cosm Fun Ball. You can see a safety play is the little <laughs> label on there. And so the bat was around here wherever, but the, uh, the ball is what they grabbed, Bill Bell and Joe. And it was David McCallum remembers back in 1965 when a couple of neighborhood dads here on Bainbridge Island, Washington, Bill Bell and Joel Pritchard were looking for something, anything to keep their bored kids entertained. They had some pieces of wood, a plastic ball, and a badminton court. So they made up a game on the spot and named it Pickleball. The Pickles version of the naming is that Pickles would run around here in these bushes and grab the ball. So they named it after Pickles the dog. But there's also some speculation that Pickles was born after the game was invented, which would make it impossible. It would. While the origin of the sports name might be complicated, the game itself was actually pretty simple. They came up and found the badminton court, which had a raised net. They had a ping pong paddle and a wiffle ball and started trying to hit the ball and they lowered the net and figured the game of pickleball out. Scott Stover and his wife Carol owned the house and the court where the sport was invented. They grew up spending their summers just down the road and watched, like David McCallum, as pickleball took off within their tiny island community. And it started growing, you know, very small. But they needed paddles. Not everybody has a bandsaw in their basement. So they would call Barney <laughs> to get paddles. Barney was David McCallum's dad, credited as the sport's third founder. By day, he ran an envelope company. By night, he started making, with his son's help, pickleball paddles for a growing fan base, first on the island and then for the wider world, which is where Doug Smith came in. The best thing we could do is be able to have a demonstration court and then get the teachers out there. Doug's task was to try to convince PE teachers to add pickleball to their curriculum, which meant going to teaching conferences and letting them try it for themselves. The teachers would be playing all during the conference. The plan took time, but worked. Taking pickleball from a game with a funny name invented in someone's backyard. Pickleball's most unique stage. To what is currently the fastest growing sport in America. By some estimates, nearly five million people in the U.S. have taken up pickleball. And that's having a profound cultural effect from the repurposing of many tennis courts to how retirement communities are being built to the themed restaurants and of course the hyper competitive pro leagues. Jen Lucor is a pickleball hall of famer who along with her doubles partner Alex Hamner has won five national championships. I have exactly zero pickleball championships. In fact the last time I played was 30 years ago during racket sports class at Nathan Hale High School in Seattle. So I figured I'd get a refresher from Jen. And then you're staying on line and now you are a master dinker. Look at you go. Fans of the game say the secret sauce of pickleball is that anyone can learn the game and start having fun in 30 minutes. So, Sunday morning producer John Goodwin and I decided to test that theory. We had a few victories and a lot of defeats. And also a lot of fun. Not bad for a game invented by a couple of desperate dads that's now taking the nation by storm. I got it, that's it. Thank you.